Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today we've got the pleasure of watching Alpha Shooter from the North American server playing in the one and only FB405. And when you consider that they are called Alpha Shooter, I, I think it's very fitting that they are playing the tank with the highest alpha damage in World of Tanks. Of course, that's the FB4005. Now, Alpha Shooter today is going to have a game that frankly is one in a million. One in a million in pretty much every regard. Damage, performance... The, uh, where their RNG manages to go. I think Alpha Shooter will be just rolling sixes so many times in this game uh, that you're going to see why this is the, the one in the million, million battle before the game is done. So whenever I'm watching an FB405, I'm always expecting just something outrageous to happen, especially when it's not me playing it, because for some reason I just seem to absolutely suck in this tank. Unlike Alpha Shooter here, who just dumps the first tank, the 121B, for 1760. So talking about one in a million, Alpha Shooter is going to have a one in a million opportunity where all of the enemy tanks just sort of just sit there, but also expose themselves enough that this tank's 230 millimeters of penetration is enough to be able to deal with them. As everyone knows, or well, at least you should if you've been around on this channel for long enough, this vehicle has two flavors of ammunition. It's got its armor piercing shells. And if you're wondering who the voice acting is, it's actually uh, John Connor, or at least uh, a, t a terrible version of John Connor from uh, Terminator 2. But as I was saying, two flavors of ammo. AP with 1,150 alpha damage and 310 millimeters of penetration. The Hesh rounds with 1,750 with 230 millimeters of pen. But remember, no normalization on HE rounds. But when you hit the side of an E50M, it doesn't really matter if you have no normalization. That is 1,920 damage. And within literally the first two minutes of this game, you could not be making this up. Alpha Shooter has already done five thousand damage literally firing pretty much on reload with all big rolls and penetrating shots just how can alpha damage keep this up uh or I, did i call him alpha damage i mean how can alpha shooter keep up this alpha damage performance in world of tanks we are two and a half minutes into this game and alpha shooter has done nearly seven thousand damage you know, sometimes you'll play like World of Tanks the whole evening, right? And maybe you'll have like one game that's as high as this. Well, Alpha Shooter's done more in two and a half minutes than most people will have done over pretty much the evening with regards to Tom damage dealing. So, Alpha Shooter now fires the, the one shot that probably is going to not super high roll in this game. Finishing off a pesky VZ-55 that I believe they hit earlier that didn't have enough hit points to give them any more. A paltry 300 damage for the 8,000 credits that Alpha Shooter has to spend on each one of these shells. And it's crazy to me that this vehicle actually seems to be pretty darn strong in, should we say, this like clown meta of the game where everybody just goes onto one flank and pushes. Now, don't get me wrong, I think it's an effective tactic. If you can get more tanks than your opponents on a flank, then you can usually outnumber them, snowball the battle, and that's what you've got to do in World of Tanks, right? On the other hand, Alpha Shooter has a different idea of playing and doesn't really need multiple tanks on a flank, just one Alpha Shooter with a clean shot into the 430U. Alpha Shooter is putting on such a performance there that his team is now getting behind him with the, uh, the Gorilla 15 say, Nice shot. And I have to admit, uh, uh, the, the Fosh 155 is that uh, Silenzi on uh, Alpha Shooter's platoon is right that there are some salty sailors in chat. I, what is it? What is it? All of my lovely NA community out there. What is it about the NA server? Um, you all talk so much. I guess it's because you all speak the same language, right? Or at least mostly. Probably on the NA server you would do. Oh my lord. What was that? Was that a penetrating shell through the upper hull? That might be the quickest 10,000 damage I have ever seen in World of Tanks. Four minutes and 20 seconds. And Alpha Shooter has already done more damage than I've ever done in World of Tanks. Thank you, Alpha Shooter. I've been playing this game for 11 years now, and I see Alpha Shooter just clap it out like it's nothing in four minutes of a game of World of Tanks playing the, the one and only FV4005. It's probably more damage than I'd say 99% of you players out there who are watching this video have done as well. How does that make you feel? Because I know how it makes me feel. Let me know in the comments down below. Interestingly enough, Alpha Shooter was doing a mission for the Object 260, They Shall Not Pass, where you had to do 3,000 damage. Well, mate, I think you did that in the first minute, and now you're really, like, uh, rubbing it in. 
but you've still got to manage to pick up uh, one more kill to be able to complete this Object 260 mission with honors. It's kind of funny that Alpha Shooter has done so much damage. That they say in chat, 10,400 10,400 damage. Nice. La Mafeo. And then um, the bad chat on their team called King Junior says, uh, I doubt that. <laughs> why, why would he say? As if he's got anything to gain by kind of like lying about the amount of damage that they dealt. It's pretty scary when you look at the hit bar at the top, this 5,800, and think that Al Alpha Shooter here has done one chonk, two chonks. Pretty much about a third of the enemy's team already before this battle has even started to reach its climax. Penning six shots. You're not lying. We can see all six of those pens there. Uh, or was it five? Oh no, there was one below as well. Six pens. Of course, it would make sense, right? About 1,500 average times by six is going to be a 9k and then a little bit of non-pens on top. Well, pens that were against uh, non-full health tanks. Talking about full health tanks, here's a T100LT driving straight out in front of Alpha Shooter who shouts, Pull! For the uh, T100LT to get a nice bit of air. And there we go. And now... Now, maybe, Alpha Shooter's team is going to start uh, believing. It's kind of funny that everyone's got so much to say in this game. Look at this. This K91 says, he was playing safe from one minute. I guess this is the new trend. Play alone. Leave the team. Devader, you are clueless. Alpha Shooter was in a position to provide Alpha shots as early on as he possibly could. And boy... Have they made the shots here? Now, 12,000 damage in the first seven minutes of this battle. Not so impressive uh, as the uh, the 10k in the first four minutes. But I think maybe the enemy team probably left, like, scratching their head a little bit here, going, uh, where did our flank go? Uh, where did all of our hit points go? I thought we were snowballing this game and winning it. And realizing that Alpha Shooter has been uh, definitely landing big shots on them one by one for the first few minutes. There's only so much time that you can take. What's this? FV, you're alone. No help uh, for help from this jerk. Okay, well, maybe sorry the K91 was talking about someone else. I can't keep up. It's like a soap opera with about four different chapters or series here in each of the games on the NA server. Oh, my word. Americans, you got a, got a lot to say. you got a lot to say. And that's coming from a, a, a British guy who's got a big flappy mouth as well. It's made it his full-time occupation on the internet in the last ten years, right? Okay, well, unfortunately, Alpha Shooter misses their first shot. I wonder if that's going to come back to haunt them later on in the game. The STRV-103B now possibly can work their way along the west and be able to pick up the two artillery that are on Alpha Shooter's team. And I think Alpha Shooter seems to have kind of, like, slowed down a little bit here. But I don't think that's really the case. I think it's more of the case that the enemy team just stopped driving out in front of them every time they managed to reload their MP405. Talk about driving out in front of them. Goodbye. <laughs> As fourth there in their Centurion Action 10 gets shut down mighty fast. And now, look, the Vader must have been talking to someone else as the Vader is giving big props here to Alpha Shooter as they pick up their fifth kill of the game. Okay, so how much longer will the enemy team just drive out in front of Alpha Shooter? And considering that they've still got 3,000 hit points and a full health M60, unless it was outside the render distance when it was taking damage. Just how much higher can Alpha Shooter go? This is 12,000 damage. We're already kind of like up in the echelons of the highest kind of damage games in the FB4005. Can Alpha Shooter push it to the max in this game? Uh, I, I think so. I think you, the, the funny thing about this tank is it's such a glass cannon that unless you do actually manage to get those alpha shots out on your opponents, it doesn't really work. So just like uh, what I said uh, a minute ago, it, the, it has become a thing. And that is the STRV-103B is making their way down the west and picking off Alpha Shooter's artillery. Alpha Shooter pushes over the ridge line ever so carefully, looking to see if they're going to get spotted. And when they don't get lit up and Sixth Sense doesn't go off, they know that they don't have to pull back. However, now this is tense. A CS-63 behind a rock. Luckily for Alpha Shooter, the Centurion Action 10, Ari Nick, 
manages to finish off the Polish tier 10 medium tank. Now that allows Alpha Shooter a little bit of a respite to be able to plan their next move and of course it is to be able to dump big rounds into the M60. Alpha Shooter looks in the third person there to find the shot right into the back of the American medium tank. Another penetrating shot. What is that? Eight shells? Oh, I'm gonna have to count them. We got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight penetrating shots where they were near enough, kind of like a meaty damage roll. This is just absolutely outrageous. So one thing that I like in this game as well is that even though Alpha Shooter is at 13,000 damage, they're still doing what is the right thing to do in this scenario, and that is to put pressure up on the cap circle. I believe they clicked cap the base and asked the Centurion Action 10 for help. Because the worst thing ever right now would be is if the STRV managed to get back and maybe started to work the ridge. And as this is such a, an RNG-based tank, the last thing that you want is to take chances against an STRV that with an HE shell has a 50-50 chance of destroying Alpha Shooter's tank in a single go. But with two tanks in the camp circle, locked in position with only eight seconds to go it doesn't look like the strv is going to manage to make it back and alpha shooter takes down a carry of carries here with just such a ridiculous amount of damage total raising their gun at the end of the game to salute their performance oh, mo momentarily and they did it in style as well with this 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 cat style. Great. I mean, can you believe it? Imagine if you started playing World of Tanks in 2011 and you, 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 nobody was firing gold unless it actually cost gold rounds. Nobody was getting hit for more than like 500 was kind of like the highest alpha damage apart from on something like an object 704 that hit for 750. And this is what World of Tanks is in 2023. We have players in doing... 13,000 damage dressed in style with cat paws all over their tank. Uh, is the game worse for it? Nah, I don't think so. I think it's a little bit of fun and it's a hell of a lot of fun to see awesome games like this uh, uploaded to the What Replays website. Look, Alpha Shooter, congratulations to you on this epic game in the FV405. There was a lot of skill in this game. However, I, I think also this was definitely one of those one in a million scenarios where every shot that mattered went where you aimed it, where the whole of the enemy team decided to just sit out on that slope and come down and tank after tank after tank drove out in front of a monstrous 183 millimeter gun. That's the result. So unsurprisingly, a high caliber here for Alpha Shooters, 13,400 damage, six times what anyone else on their team was able to do, pretty much equaling the whole of the rest of their team's damage total combined. So there's one Alpha Shooter and 14 of his, I guess, bards, as we're going to call them on their team, just playing support. And while Alpha Shooter didn't exactly spend a million credits on ammunition, they spent a, a tenth of a million with nearly 100k spent, 20,000 on consumables. But even that, still only a 5,000 credit loss. And I tell you what, I would pay 5,000 credits to have a 13,000 damage game on my account. And I love Alpha Shooter's message. I was only shaking a little bit. Alpha Shooter, I, I, I think I would be in like full heart palpitations and probably full shakes if I was this close to having such a massive game. So Alpha Shooter, congratulations to you on this epic round of World of Tanks. Thank you so much for uploading your one in a million game to the What Replays website for the community to enjoy. I thoroughly did. And I hope all of you enjoyed this video out there today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And if you're watching this video, I'm going live on Monday with new tokens so you can get closer to your T14. So come say hi on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby and pick up some fat loot. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.